What's up, YouTube viewers? Spacehead Boom here with you. I'm going to do a quick comparison video for you. Um, I'm going to start off with the Kicker QS, and then the, the we're going to talk a little bit about the, the Rock Fosgate 6.5-inch mid-range drivers. Okay, now, granted, these are two completely different applications. One's an SQL speaker, one's an SPL speaker. Um, so depending on what type of vehicle you're going to try to put it in or what type of rig you're going to try to design, um, you could, you may want to use this speaker, you may want to use this speaker. I'm going to talk a little bit about them now. Um, so you can see the, uh, the Kicker QS has a woven cone and the Rock Fosgate has a paper cone. Now, another thing I want to show you, because I'm giving you a top view here, is the Kicker QS is actually substantially, I'm going to stick my finger in here, deeper than the Punch Pro. Again, the uh, the Punch Pro also it seems to what has a bigger cone than the QS, but like I said, this is deeper as well. Also, you can see the the clearance between the two. The Kicker QS has a substantial larger clearance than the Punch Pro. Again, these are two different applications. One's designed for SPL. One's designed for SQL. So. Before drawing a conclusion, I would recommend you consider uh, what types of speakers these are. This here is actually more comparable to the Rockford Fosgate T5 than what it is the Punch Pro. But uh, each have the pros, each have the cons. Now, the next thing I want to show you is the terminals here. On both these speakers, they both have removable terminals. However, the QS's are substantially larger than the Punch Pros. But, on the flip side, the Punch Pros are removable completely. It's not just the actual terminals themselves, but the whole plate is removable as to where the QS is not. So if you have to do any type of maintenance, such as soldering or, or what have you, it makes it a lot more uh, uh, practical to do it with this one here. It's a lot easier. Okay? I can only see, I don't know if I can pick it up the voice coil too good on this here. Now, the next thing I want to show you about the Punch Pro here is the, the uh, excuse me, the Spider. The Spider on the, on the Punch Pro is actually um, a little bit smaller than what it is on the, the QS, but... Um, I don't know if that's because the voice coil is larger or the former is larger on it or why that is actually I really don't know but it is a, it does it appears larger in the video but it actually isn't larger than the than the uh, QS here I'm going to move on to the to the actual motor structure magnet of the of the two this here's a, a big deal for some of you, I guess. Whoops. Oh, I didn't cover something. Sorry about that, folks. Now, another thing I wanted to show you about the QS is this little guy right here is actually removable. Yeah, we're talking about practicality here. I would say that the QS would be, be a little bit more practical than what the the Fosgate six and a half is here, because this not only can be a component driver, it can also be a uh, coaxial. You can actually screw the the QS's um, tweeter into the center of this. Now they also both have two different tweeters, but we're not covering those in this video but I was going to move on to the back it's kind of hard to do with one hand now as you can see from the two two speakers the motor structure magnet is actually much much larger on the punch pro than it is the the QS um, you can actually fit their covers, you can actually fit the QS's cover inside 
the, uh, the punch pros. And last, I'm going to talk about the grills. You can see the grill grills. The kicker uses the traditional honeycomb grill, and this here's a little this is a little bit different. Um, I do like the Fosgates grill better personally than I do the kickers because it's you know it's not like your everyday grill that you've seen for ever. Now, as you can see, this here is also again more practical than the kicker. Um, because you can actually screw this with the speaker into whatever application you're putting it into. If you're going to use the the kickers, you're you're going to have to. What I did was, I actually used butyl rubber, folks. This stuff right here. This is butyl rubber. And you can actually stick that on there. Just stick. Go if you don't know what it is. Um, Google it, butyl rubber. Um, you stick that on there, and then just stick the, this on here, and it holds in really, really well, actually. But like I said, I usually don't use them. I just wanted to see what they look like with them. What have you. And I think that's about it. If I didn't cover anything, hit me up in the comments box. This is Basehead Boo. I'm out.